critical state right now. Coastal scientists have said we have really as little as 10 years to reverse these processes and to put the Mississippi River back in the, into these swamps and into these marshes. One of the most significant is just the role that they play in protecting communities like New Orleans. Like any South Louisiana community uh, really exists because those coastal wetlands are between the Gulf of Mexico and the community. When storms come in, as they do every summer, uh, we need to have those natural coastal lines of defense between us and the Gulf. The barrier islands, the shallow sound, the, the, the marshes, the cypress swamps, all these add up to very significant uh, natural storm protection. And those coastal lines of defense are critical for the, for the region, I think. Uh, the front man of fish pond. Lit up with Aaron, right? Aaron and Clint. Clint said, man, I want, I want to take you on a plane ride, man. These guys are going to take us on a plane ride, and we're going to see the wetlands. I'm like, the wetlands, what's that? And I'm like, the wetlands, the marsh. I'm like, okay, the marsh, right, okay. So, see, I'm from Los Angeles, so that's earthquake land out there, but see here, it's a whole different story, you know? You know. And so, you hear about it on the news where the floods came in and, you know, and, and just people, people, uh, people dying and getting caught up, and the government not doing anything, for, doing anything about it for like four days, right? <laughs> Y'all ask me the question, like, why should we fix, you know, this situation? This is the most direct answer I can give, you know, because this is going to happen over and over and over again. Restoring our wetlands, which is the buffer zone between us and the water. And the water. And the water. And all that wind, all that energy coming here all and coming washing here. us out. And if the wetlands aren't sturdy, that's right. Then the, the whole Gulf of Mexico is going to come in on New Orleans, pretty much. So yeah, I'm Stanton Moore. I play drums with Galactic, Garage Trois, Stanton Moore Trio, whole lots of other projects. Do sessions and tour around with a lot of different people. And I'm born and raised here in New Orleans. And to me, a lot of American music that we play and listen to today is coming from New Orleans. I mean, we all know jazz and second line and funk is all coming from New Orleans, but I mean, if you listen to anything nowadays that has a backbeat, which is everything from, you know, Christian uh, music to country music to, you know, gospel to hip hop to heavy metal, you know, it all has a backbeat and that's all coming from New Orleans. That's coming from Earl Palmer you know, taking what was a shout chorus, boom, splack a loon, splack a loon, splack a loon. We just went up in the plane just now and, and looked at how, you know, what used to be land or what used to be marsh and what is showing up on the map as marsh is really just water. And it's really mind blowing. It's like, you mean that that's the city and you're seeing downtown? and the water is that close, you know? And then when you look at the Mr. Go and you see how that was just basically a funnel for the storm surge to just rocket in and just completely just, you know, like a rifle shot into the lower nine and, and uh, you know, the back door of the city. And it's just, it's really mind blowing. It's like, my God, this is really scary. Uh, we're losing the swamps, we're losing the marshes, we're losing about a football field's worth of uh, coastal wetlands every 45 minutes due to those processes. We've seen the oil companies come through. They've dredged tens of thousands of miles of canals through those marshes, which just uh, really speeds up the process of losing the marsh. So uh, it's, it's in a critical state right now. Basically, the entire coast timber, it's, just, it's kind of like you, you got your arm and you put a major slash in it, and then you just keep cutting it up. And if we're going, you put a tourniquet up here, the bottom of the arm is just going to wither away and die. And that's exactly what's happened to our coast. We were over it today, and you can see how it how it can service the marsh and get that, that fresh water to the, uh, the marshes which are being overcome by salt water because of the erosion of the, the wetlands due to some of the recent storms but also due to years and years and years of canals being built from, by the uh, oil and gas uh, companies building all these canals straight through the marsh so then all these canals are bringing in uh, the salt water which is just destroying the marsh and the cypress swamps and you know you can see these things that used to be there to protect us from storms it's not there anymore it's just more water 
So even though it shows up as green on the, on the map, man, it's not there. And it's just, you know, it's really frightening. Once people start to understand exactly what's at stake with we lose the entire coast of Louisiana, the first question they often ask is, well, how do we restore it? Really cutting a hole into the levee effectively, creating something called a diversion that diverts fresh water and sediment back into these marshes. It's a cost-effective way of putting fresh water and needed sediment back into these areas to replenish them. Uh, additional technologies include pumping sediment out of the river with pipelines, using beneficial use of the material that the core dredges from the river to maintain navigation to then place it uh, back into the system. That's an immediate solution and, and one that's desperately needed to begin helping this ecosystem to recover. But ultimately, to sustain this ecosystem far into the future, we need to look at cost-efficient and effective ways to utilize these dollars. And that's by mimicking exactly what Mother Nature did before we interfered. We just need to do it on a much bigger scale, much quicker. Otherwise, you know, South Louisiana is just going to literally disappear. And that's, you know, a lot of the nation's seafood, a lot of the nation's oil and gas, a lot of the nation's music is all rooted in this right here, which is literally disappearing before our eyes. So unreal. This old town seems so 